I'm Senator Mohamed Ali Ndume representing Borno South. Mr. President, and my distinguished colleagues, this is one of the moments, again, where we come to do what we call validatory session. And since I've joined this na uh, National Assembly, it is always time for us to come and say goodbye to people that you don't want to part with. <laughs> yes, we have done all we could. We have cooperated that much. But can we say we have succeeded when 75% of us are not coming back? 75%. And when the new ones come in, they are not going to be handover notes to them. They are going to start afresh. Or we are going to start afresh. And some of us that are coming back, just about 25% of us, it's just like coming into your house and becoming a tenant. I will be stranger in the Senate, in the 10th Senate. Because only 25 or 24 of my colleagues will be with me. And we said we have worked hard. What is the reward? The reward is that 75% of us are not coming back. And not because we don't want to come back. Or that we don't deserve to come back. This is something that we should really consider because this institution is going down. This institution is going down. You are saying the Senate is important and anybody that is saying that the Senate should, be, should not be scrapped, what is the use of the Senate if the content of the Senate is vague? I come here and I won election. It was a tough one. But at the end of it, I'm now saying, is it worth it? We need to look at that. So having said that, my purpose of coming here is to apologize to anybody. We have been here for a very long time. I have been here for a long time. From 2003 to date, I have few friends here now that I have been to that journey. Yeah. Senate President, first few that came in since 2000, what, 1999 to date. This is an institution. The President of America was in the Senate for 43 years or 35 years. That institution you built. The president of the Senate of America is the vice president. <coughs> and the Senate president pro tempo is the most senior. That is the importance of the experience. But here we are starting all over again. But anyway, I come here to apologize. Because most of you, or all of you, know me very well. We have been here for four years. And then some people call me the rebel leader and all that. But it's okay. Because in every system, if you should, you, 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 uh, you must have somebody. I'm missing you. I'm going to miss all of you. Mr. President, I want to make a request. These gentlemen and ladies that are not coming back here are very important resource to Nigeria. I had wanted the Vice President and the First Lady to be around to put this message. But I beg of you, I want us to lead this message. That government is a big. These resourceful persons should be absorbed into the system. We should make sure that our colleagues that are very resourceful, that can be useful to this country, that are grassroots politicians, are called back to serve in various capacities. Especially now when we have the leadership of this country in the hands of more or less legislators. Please, Mr. President, take that upon you and the rest of us we may seek audience with them. Having said that, again, I want to finally round up by saying, please forgive me if in any way, in any way, I have said, done, or do something that you are not happy with. I'm just trying to be myself. In fact, my stay here has shaped my character and uh, I've come down. As I get to a grandfather. Thank you very much. Senator Kabiri Branga.